we've got a couple of questions here on Zoom, but I'll just start off just the obvious. You know, walk us through what the last you know, 24 hours or so has been like for you uh, coming through. You know, yeah, so I probably found out Thursday at like 4 p.m. Uh, on a plane Friday, got in probably 1 a.m. today. Uh, so definitely kind of a whirlwind of things going on. Um, a lot going on, but hoping to get settled soon. Uh, happy to meet the guys and get my first minutes as a Dynamo player. Um, go ahead and turn over to some questions from uh, media on the call. Uh, fittingly enough, we'll start with our beat writer, who's also named Corey. Corey Rupkin from the Houston Chronicle. Go ahead. Hey, Corey. Um, how, how much, what, what preparation can you do, you know, on such a short turnaround like this for, for a game? Um, I think it's just... The preparation I've been doing throughout the season, um, do a lot of little things every day, every day of training, every day you come in, post training, whatever kind of recovery you need. So I think for me, it's just always being as game ready as possible. And so I knew uh, that I could get minutes like over 24 hours ago. So I knew what my preparation would be and it was just doing all the little things to make sure I'm ready to go, and I can give Tab as much as possible. What, it, it seemed like the Tech had a little bit of a spark in there with you and Tyler. What, what did you see with him, and, and how close did you feel like you guys were to scoring? Yeah, I mean, I thought we were incredibly close on a few occasions. Um, fresh legs are always going to be good. Um, I know he's another fast attacking player, so when teams are playing in this humidity, this heat, it's always going to be tough for them in the second half, so... Us coming off the bench, looking to run at guys, be fast, be direct, I think it causes problems for teams. Um, that's all I have. Thanks. Now we'll go next to Garrett Heiner from HoustonDynamo.com. Go ahead, Garrett. Hey, Corey. Uh, welcome to the club. Uh, did Tab say anything to you before heading out there? Any words of advice? Any? Uh, just kind of not to overthink it. Just go out there, do what you've been doing, play how you uh, I play, and he gave me just the confidence to go out there and express myself and play in the way that I think is effective. And I think we did well when I came on, and pretty unfortunate, I think, not to get a goal. Did you um, – you had one opportunity uh, over and then connected with Pash on the, on the cross very early on. You feel like um, overall, once you guys got out there – did you think that a goal was going to come and you guys were going to be able to get one in the back? Yeah, um, I saw a lot of space, and I think he was able to put the ball in a, good, a great spot for me. Um, and, I mean, that's that kind of ball that he played in is a dream for a forward, so I know I need to do better with that. But if we can develop a connection where we're getting chances like that on a regular basis, I think we're going to score a lot of goals. Uh, you have some experience with some of the guys on Real Salt Lake. Um, but playing against and playing with. Did that help you coming into the game a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say it goes both ways where I know some of their guys' tendencies, they know some of my tendencies. Uh, definitely a team that I spent a lot of time with, uh, was with not too long ago, so great to see some of those guys, but definitely was hoping to get a win tonight. And uh, it's been about 21 hours. Are you used to the humidity yet? Not or? quite. I'm still sweating, so. <laughs> Thank you. We'll go next to Victor Ariza from the Strike in Texas. Go ahead, Victor. Hey, Corey. Welcome to Houston. Just wondering uh, what you can share about your deal as far as maybe how quick of a turnaround that was during this week. What's the, uh, the boarding project you got sold on, and what do you think this team can accomplish? Um, so... I found out that anything was even happening when it was already done, uh, probably late Thursday afternoon. Um, later that night, I got a flight scheduled to come out on Friday. Came out here, got in around midnight, 1 a.m., got to the apartment, and then was just spent the rest of the day preparing for the game. Um, but through my conversations with Tab, I'm excited for the group we have here. Uh, what he wants to build here and the role that he's talked to me about. Any additional questions, Victor? Any follow-up? Oh, maybe just a little bit more about uh, 
your relationship with Tav throughout the years and, and maybe how that could have been a, well, it seems like it was a definitive factor in taking here. Yeah, um, I got to meet Tav back when I was in high school with some of the U20 stuff, and I always enjoyed him as a coach. I always knew my friends enjoyed him, so uh, I'm excited to get a chance to work with him again, and I think that relationship is probably part of what got me to Houston.